Hello everybody, this video is on your navbar and footer settings. Uh, this area is pretty simple. Um, one thing that we will talk about and we did talk about in the settings video is uploading your logo. So just as a reminder, your logo is this one down here. Uh, it doesn't have to do with your Twitter card or the little icon in your tab. So mainly this one here. So let's just go back into our navbar and footer. So if you have now uploaded a logo, you can actually globally turn this on here and it'll put it in your nav bar and on your footer. Now, once you have done that, uh, you probably will not need this default information that's here. So you can simply just clear this out and that way you just have a nice clean, your logo, your links, social media, stuff like that. Now, the bottom section here is maybe just a quick catchphrase about your business. And you can actually do a rewrite and sort of see what it suggests. Or you could actually just go in here and write your own. Um, so you can use some of our suggestions and, you know, maybe you want to get rid of some of this in here. You can always just change what you want. Uh, but like I said, just a quick little catchphrase about your business. Uh, last thing here are, and these are redundant links. So in your social media, you can turn off social media, but you can also do it here. This doesn't turn it off just on your nav and your footer. It turns it off the site globally, so everywhere. Same thing with hiding the emails. That's a global setting. It's not just for footer and admin. It does it site-wide. So, um, yeah, this area is pretty simple. Um, also watch a video on the settings on uploading your logos and stuff like that so you can actually use this feature. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.